So we're going to test the effects of different disinfectants, antiseptics, different chemical agents on whether or not they will inhibit the growth of bacteria. So what's the effect on of bacterial growth? The way we're going to do this, I have already inoculated each of these plates, uh, one with Staphylococcus aureus and the other one with Pseudomonas aeruginosa, so a gram positive and a gram negative. Uh, I have inoculated them in such a way with a cotton swab to try to get a complete lawn of growth. So we're not going for streak isolation. Uh, we want nice, complete, solid growth on. And as I've already inoculated them. What I'm going to do now is take these little paper discs and dip them into the different substances. We have four different substances that we're going to test. Iodine, mouthwash, witch hazel, and pine salt. So what I'm going to do is just dip it into the solution, kind of tap against the side so it gets the excess off. And similar to what you see with antibiotic disc, I'm just going to lay this on the surface. The idea is that the chemicals in it can diffuse out into the medium. Because it's already been inoculated, we will see if it will have any effect, basically whether it will inhibit the growth of the bacteria or not. And so I'm just going to go along with each of these substances and try to gently place the different substances on the plate. Then we will incubate the plates for 24 hours at 37 degrees C and we will see what effect it has. Please make sure when you do this that you take careful notes of what your chemicals are and where you have placed them on the plate so that when you come back in 24 hours you'll know which substance was which. And just kind of lightly tap so that it will uh, stick to the auger when you go to invert the plate. You don't want to overcrowd them. That's why we're only testing four. If they're too close together, you can have interference from one chemical with the next. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We will incubate them and look at them tomorrow. The number one, so this right here on this plate with Pseudomonas was iodine followed by mouthwash, witch hazel, and then pine salt. Uh, there's a very faint decrease in growth around the iodine. It's, it's kind of difficult to see. There was some growth, but it's not quite as heavy. Cinnamonus aeruginosa, any of the Cinnamonus uh, species, we are seeing more uh, problems in healthcare settings. Uh, where they pretty much can grow on anything they want, and it's hard to control them, which is what we're seeing in this case. Now, the Staphylococcus aureus, we use the same um, chemicals. So number one was iodine. You can see there's a slight zone of inhibition around it. That is that slight zone where there's decreased growth or no growth. And you can actually measure that. The the increased zone of inhibition means the more effective it is at inhibiting the growth. Number two, which was the mouthwash, you can see that there is, right up against the disc, there is no growth. So there is a zone of inhibition. This colony and this colony here are the closest that you have of anything growing to it. So as compared to the iodine, the mouthwash was better at inhibiting growth. Three was witch hazel and four was pine salt, not as effective at controlling the growth. But you also see some differences between the gram positive and gram negative. Differences between different species.